What's going on, Frequency fam? Welcome back to Reality Files. We got the soul out today. Let's dial in here. Spiritual deceptions. I was debating making this video because of how dark and deep this thing goes, but with all these ideas rattling around in my mind, I thought I would just, you know, shoot down some deceptions out here about just this perception of what spirituality is and what's going on with this whole ascension thing, with this whole new age movement. Go watch my first video on this stuff and that was about this passivity. You see, once, once you wake up to spirituality, once you wake up to that Oh, there's something a little bit going on here. Something strange, right? Start diving in deep. The first thing that you get literally just blasted with, just mowed over, is this love and light, passivity, garbage, right? Stuff has been going on for ages. Nothing's different. The systems have changed, right? They want you to sit on top of mountains and meditation. They want you to create your own bubble of love right where you, it's all about enlightenment compassion right kindness just being all very important things but the worst kind of deception is a partial truth my friends is something that blocks you puts blocks in your brain so you never look beyond it and i would say that we're tapping in about 10 percent the videos i see out here in the new age and the spiritual the 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 narrative right now is like 10% of it okay this love and light garbage it's all about passivity so once you see the bullshit going on they want you to become passive they want you to be oh that's okay I'm just gonna raise my frequency exist within my bubble of love and light right and help raise the frequency of the planet it's all about compassion it's all about love it's all about getting away from anger it's all about but you see, what they're doing is they're creating a shadow, a, a very thick shadow of 90% of you that you just ignore and cast away. And then with spiritual bypassing, we lose our touch with our humanity side, right? We start dismissing emotions, right? We think there's, although we're living a human experience, we live in duality. So we have two different sides of this coin. Yes, we're spiritual beings in, at the essence but we're also humans, right? Here to experience this and the emotions, the what you learn in this lifetime, what you have to go through, the struggles, right? All are part of your experience, but they want to bypass this, right? And then just to top that off, that they're, they're creating that shadow like I talked about where you lose the flame ultimately. And that's what the whole part one was about, losing the flame out here. You see everyone talking softly. You see everyone, love, compassion, all this stuff. Yeah, it's great. It's fantastic. It ain't going to do shit though. You know why? Because we are born into bondage, my friends. This place, this planet, this earth is a prison for sick souls. Yeah, that's a dark truth. And I hope you guys are ready for that. And if you don't like what you're hearing, please exit out of this video right now. Because, like, I don't know what I'm about to say. It's all rattling, rattling around in my mind right now. But I'm, I might say some things that, you know, create risks within you. And if you're not ready to receive this information, come back at a later date. For all you truth warriors out here on the frequency, if you have an inkling of what I'm saying, let's dive into it. This place is a prison. You see, the deception I want to focus on right here is this one of, oh, this is a beautiful life, full of contrast, right? The suffering and the ecstasy, the love and the hate, the, um, the sadness 
and the happiness. It, this contrast and the struggle and the joy, this all teaches us as we grow in, as souls, right? And then they also uh, push this narrative, this rhetoric forward of, we're here to learn. We're here to learn how to love. We're here to uplift our frequency. And all of this is true, partially. There's much more to the story here, my friends. You see, let's break it down from what I believe to be the, the grander picture. I don't care if you don't agree with me on this. The next point is the important part. How I see this is where spirit comes first, always, the above, who you are, fracture of source, right? Your own individual uh, ray of light, your hue. That comes first, and that gets trapped down here in darkness by the brothers of darkness. I'm going to be referring to the Emerald Tablets of Thoth, the Kabbalion, and many more things throughout this video, so stay with me here. But down here, everything is here to trap you. Everything on this earth, my friends, everything you eat. Yeah, you're raw vegan. I, <laughs> the, even fruit, my friends, the highest form of dense energy is still trapping you here. All the ideas that you learn, all the shit that you consume through the media, everything is here to trap you. Okay? I'm going to break this down. We did not choose to be here. Okay? You think you chose as an infinite soul to be trapped down here in this bondage in this prison to learn through misery and suffering. When I look out here, this is the kicker right here. If you're following me along, this is the kicker. When I look out here, all I see, all I see is coldness, is disconnection, is lack of compassion, right? Is this disassociation with the self, with the eternal self, this disassociation from life, from living, everyone out here. And like literally 99.9% .9 of people are miserable. They may not admit it. They may not even know it. You know, the worst, the worst, the most hopeless slave is one who doesn't realize he is a slave, right? I forget which quote that is from, but, not, you know, people are leading miserable lives. The depression rate is 80%. We got drugs and stress at work and anxiety and no control of the mind and toxic relationships, toxic people fighting, right? You have to watch yourself. Many people have told me throughout my life, don't trust anybody. Everyone is out for themselves, no matter how good their, their pitch is, no matter what they give off. They're really just trying to use you to get where they want to go. Everyone's out here for themselves. It's all, it's, this world is run by greed, separation, right? And it manifests this deformity in the human, in the being. And the above, the below affects the above, just like how the above affects the below, because as below, so above. As above, so below, my friends. So when you are deformed physically, and I'm not here to rip on anybody, because like I have my own problems too, massive ones, things that have pushed me to go this route, right? <laughs> like massive struggles in life, we all have them. And what I'm saying here is, I'm just trying to express the, the degree of bondage in which we exist within. You go to the grocery store, 90% of people are deformed. You look out here, everyone is kind of in their own world. They're cut off from feeling. They're resisting the rest of the world. They have barriers up, right? Friends don't want to do anything or have fun. My sister and like all of her friends in the eighth grade go on Netflix and Snapchat, disassociate from the human interaction. All that, if they had five hours to do anything in the entire world on a Saturday, it's in 99.9% .9 of them would go on Netflix and watch, go on Snapchat and watch Netflix at the same time. 
They're not out here trying to live, trying to be alive, trying to activate the self, trying to become who they are. This is the bondage. And oh, the world is rising up, the ascension, right? Raise your frequency. Everyone else will just stay in your bubble of love and light and everything will be fine, right? You got spirit gods working for you, you got the Pleiadians, who the fuck? Right? No, guys. No. You have to save yourself. And very few have ever done it. That is the deception, my friends. You see this spiritual ascension? I don't want to say it in that way, but I do want to say it in that way, and that is, this is a prison for sick souls, and few have ever left it. Few have truly went within and discovered what is trapping us here. The bondage goes far beyond just the external physical realm, the foods, the vaccines, the chemtrails. The air quality, the lack of sunlight, the stress, the anxiety, toxic relationships goes far beyond this. You see, who built the body? Who built your vessel, my friends? Like I was saying before, the essence of us, the spiritual essence, the light, the fire, the flame is the above. And that is what is trapped down through many layers, my friends, through all the planes. All the planes were built by the brothers of darkness, by Satan, by whatever you believe in. I don't care. I don't want to label this shit because that just puts your mind in a box, which we're trying to avoid here. I have realized and I've become aware of something very profound and stunning over this past year. Going through the Emerald Tablets, I would love to do a, a webinar or something like discussing those with people. Like, if you go look at the ancient alchemists, of China, of ancient Egypt, if you go back to the Sumerian tablets, if you go back, like, go deep, my friends, go deep, you're going to realize that this shit has been happening for a long time. You see, you didn't come here, you didn't choose to be here to live amongst miserable, suffering souls who never change, who never truly become. They never leave. It gets worse and worse, not better. You have to save yourself. And this shit has been going on for ages. It's a prison. The Emerald Tablets. Let's talk about this. The body was built by the Brothers of Darkness. The Brothers of Darkness rule this world since Atlantis. That last part was a belief. The first part was a knowing. Your body, as I've expanded my perception, as I've really tapped in to the subtle energy, I've realized we are locked down. Literally chains of this subtle energy all the way around us throughout our whole body. Our body itself, we are tense, we are rigid, right? If you go watch my way of life video, it's all about formlessness, fluidity, flow, connection, oneness. It's all about suppleness and life. The way of death, the way of bondage, my friends, is one of tense, rigid, clenching, dry, right? The body, my friends, everything out here makes you clench up. You don't want to feel anymore all the suffering, all the misery. Just, just keep clenching, keep clenching. You bring your feeling, your perception, your awareness down to a single cord. You turn off your mind, you go on autopilot. You got to make your way in this world somehow. And to make your way in this world, <sighs> it's tough. It's tough as hell. So we are imprisoned, externally and internally. The body was built to trap you here. The body was built in this duality system where the mind wars against the body and the body wars against the mind, right? Your inner awareness wars against your outer awareness and your outer awareness wars against your inner awareness your whole life. Your mind is in turmoil. You've never been taught to use it. You've never been taught that all is mind. How you think, what you believe, right? That manifests who you are, the life you live, and what you become. We have never been taught the principles of mind. The Buddha tried teaching it. All of his teachings were altered. 
Uh, Yeshua tried teaching it. Many Gospels were lost and the Bible was altered for political reasons. Master Thoth tried teaching it, but he taught it at such a high level few can hear. People spend their whole lives studying this esoteric cult literature, but it doesn't take them anywhere. It's because they haven't figured out that the mind, the inner awareness is warring with the outer. The outer is warring with the inner, meaning that you can't become aware and live fully right now because body pains will come up, because emotional trauma will come up, because your mind can't stop the chatter, the monkey brain can't stop moving, because of all these obligations and stressors and uh, like responsibilities and shit out here, you can't go within. And if you can't go within, you can't figure this shit out, you can't figure out your machine, so you can't figure out the, the world, my friends. Like, I hope this is coming through to you in some way. I don't know how long this video will be up for, <laughs> but really I just want to make this point that there's a massive spiritual deception out here, and don't buy into the bullshit, don't buy into the garbage, the one-sided coin, don't buy into the duality polarity system, my friends, go within, look without, combine the both, make one, and free yourself, you must leave here, very few have accomplished it, yet as we rise up together in this age of information, the cycles are shifting and this is why there's so much chaos and turmoil right and this is because people are lighting up they're lighting up the damn lighthouse they're becoming an island a refugee a refuge that is my goal in life is to create is to build a goddamn island of light you see it this whole plane is darkness I shit you not every part of it everything you eat everything you consume all the processes of your thoughts, brain, and language are backwards. Your body is built to keep you here unless you go deep within. Like, literally, this whole plane is darkness. And the moment that you try to exuberate love and light, right? Bang! The brothers of darkness are back, right? They're throwing thoughts into your frequency chain. They're, uh... They're influencing you through the parasites, through all the shit stuck to your aura, right? They're influencing you and what you do and what you act so you can't rise above. It's a struggle. You must be strong. You must literally find it within and keep going. Nothing out here will save you. You must go within. You must find it within. And you must push for yourself and for everyone else and become your own island. See, if we can have an island of light... Light penetrates darkness, right? This whole plane is darkness, but if islands sprung up of light, people would attract. People of the frequency would come and light up their own islands. This is how the ascension works. It doesn't work in this sense of thousands and millions of people slowly raising their frequency, right? Going vegan. Trying to love more, right? Trying to become more with nature. I mean, all this shit helps. It's so important, right? But all I'm saying is, you can raise your damn energy levels as much as you want. You can raise the damn amplitude, but you gotta change the frequency. And to change the frequency, my friends, you must change your mind. All is mind. Your thoughts, your paradigm, how you think, right? And what you know, your level of awareness of self and outside, inner and external. That awareness, that knowing, that journey within that is what changes your frequency that's what lets you pierce the veil and rise above my friends become your own island do not fall for the bullshit you will not be saved i don't care how many fucking youtube channels out here are talking about meditation vegan and like all this like like yoga and all this like warped buddhism and shit like it's all all that stuff is to, yeah, make you feel better a little bit, right? But your mind is still in turmoil because you never learned how to use your mind. You never learned how to use your thoughts, right? You never learned what this being and system is. It's not very evident. It's not clear. It's very abstract and dynamic. And our minds were not taught to think that way, my friends. You must, you literally must travel within. Fuck everything else out here. Fuck what I'm saying. Find it for yourself and never stop seeking. Let me get back to that point on like the 
yoga and all the the new age and all this stuff it's just it's all about passivity it's all about giving you a new dogma a new doctrine to go by so you never look beyond that doctrine is five percent five percent that dogma is five percent let me tell you when I started activating into the subtle fields, when I started really connecting my energy with the ground, when I've been fasting for weeks at a time, right, emptying the body, emptying the shit, the parasites, the darkness, and filling myself with light, my awareness keeps expanding. And as my awareness keeps expanding, all I see is more darkness. So yeah, <laughs> we got a long way to go. But it's exponential, and we're doing it together, okay, my friends? Do not fear. Do not doubt. Have faith, my friends. We will make it. We will pierce. We will get through. We will rise above. We... It's possible. It's possible. A new world is being... Is... This is the, the freaking birth pangs, my friends. A new world is being born. And if you want to be part of that if you want to rise above the bondage of the flesh the bondage of this world of this plane of everyone around you you must stop listening to everyone around you because no one has the answers right spirituality is about finding guidance within become the damn shaman channel the darkness and the light the above and the below balance the poles become one with the sun read the emerald tablets listen to what he says master thoth hermes listen to the true teachings of yeshua otherwise known as jesus christ go look at the the true text from sumeria they're all saying the same thing my friends but we're all missing it we're all deceived and that's what i made this video about do not fall for the soft core spirituality bullshit that is someone's going to save you either well it be white light your higher self your spirit guide the octurians or palladians that's all bullshit it's just like jesus the savior you got to understand that all that shit is happening within you need to find it you need to unlock yourself you need to discover yourself and you need to become The cycle is ending, my friends. This is the time. This is not the time to be passive. This is not the time to speak softly. This is the time to carry a big damn stick and use the full faculties of the human system. Understand who you are and become and ignite this shit up. Let's go. That's spiritual deceptions number two. Don't know if I'll do another one. I could just keep going on and on. I didn't want to get too deep into the true teachings of Thoth and just like the darker side of this stuff and how f far we must go. But if you are on that, if you need to receive that, please shoot me an email, hit me up, we can connect. Thank you for watching. You guys are awesome. Really appreciate all the comments, all the emails lately. Uh, I love the support. And let's build a fucking island of light, my friends.